Hey YouTube, it's ACU, and today we have some really interesting rumors to discuss in the world of Apple, specifically concerning the next generation iPhone, which will likely be dubbed the iPhone 7. Now, getting started, if you guys want a chance to win a brand new fourth generation Apple TV, just be sure to rate this video up and stick around to the end for complete instructions. That will be concluding shortly, probably within the next week or so. Just be sure to get your entries in as soon as possible if you want a chance to win the brand new device. With that said, let's go ahead and get into these latest rumors. I'm just opening up Safari here to a post on my site, Best Tech Info. We'll have a link for you guys directly below, and we're just going to read through it and again go over some of the latest rumors in the world of Apple, specifically concerning the next next generation iPhone 7. So following a rumor concerning the removal of the headphone jack port on the forthcoming iPhone 7, a new and somewhat questionable report claims that Apple is currently testing a minimum of five new iPhone 7 variations, each with key differences. Now although said report from g for games who has made other pre-release next gen iPhone claims in the past, can't be determined as valid or invalid at this point, several other new rumors from the same source have sprung up over the past 24 hours as well. So first starting with the claim of 5 iPhone 7 testing models, it said that one iteration has ditched Apple's lightning connector in favor of a USB-C port. However, that seems highly unlikely for two different reasons. Firstly, Apple has made a huge push with their lightning connector as of late for both mobile and peripheral devices, adding the ports to not only the company's latest range of Bluetooth Magic Keyboard Magic Mouse 2 and Magic Trackpad accessories for Macs, but also the new Apple TV remote as a point for charging the input device. Secondly, Apple wants a thinner iPhone 7, which they can easily achieve with the Lightning port. The same, however, cannot be said if the iPhone 7 were to adopt USB-C, as it's roughly the same width as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which the company is rumored to axe in favor of thinness. So as you can see here via this render, comparing the current lightning port against the possible integration of a USB type C port, which as I mentioned previously is definitely thicker than the lightning port. Additionally, the report in question also claims that Apple is in the process of testing various iPhone 7 models with wireless charging technology, likely similar to the Apple Watch's inductive charging capabilities, multi-touch 3D touch, dual cameras, and an in-display fingerprint touch ID like sensor. So provided the latter feature persists in the production version of the iPhone 7, which again would be the in-display Touch ID sensor, it would almost certainly require a sapphire crystal display cover, as that's a requirement of current Touch ID sensors to ensure that no scratches obscure the reading of fingerprints. Furthermore, an in-display fingerprint sensor could finally reduce the larger than most phones bezels at the top and bottom of the device, and it would eliminate the need for a physical home button entirely, which we actually have discussed previously previously on the channel when talking about other next generation iPhone rumors. You guys weren't too keen on that idea, I want to know if that's changed. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section whether you'd be interested in an in-display fingerprint sensor if that means we're finally able to reduce the bezels at the top and the bottom. Of course there would likely be an area of the screen dedicated to act similarly to the current home button so you'd still be able to perform the same operations at least in theory that you would with a physical home button. Now as for multi-touch 3D touch, that could mean the user may be able to have additional options appear when they press into the display harder with two fingers than with a single finger, which is how the iPhone 6S's 3D touch feature behaves currently. So the possibility may come up of additional actions actually popping up when you use two fingers versus one finger for 3D touch, which I think would be really cool. If current 3D touch is like a right click, then multi-touch 3D touch may maybe like a secondary right click, again adding additional features to that pressure sensitive functionality. Finally, in a separate report, g for games cites quote Foxconn insiders, Foxconn of course being the company Apple contracts for a vast majority of their production needs, suggests that the rumored 4 inch 2016 iPhone that we've discussed previously will replace the iPhone 5C. Additionally, the new entry device is said to be slated for announcement by the company in January and will be available for purchase in February. Now the device isn't expected to integrate 3D touch, a feature that Apple wants to utilize to differentiate the entry level device from the higher cost iPhone 6S 
and iPhone 6s Plus models. However, the new 4-inch iPhone will likely receive the same A9 chip as the 6s, though possibly underclocked, a Touch ID sensor, and metal casing in lieu of the plastic shell of the iPhone 5C. And just take note that if Apple does decide to introduce a smaller iPhone, that it will not replace the current sizes that we have with the 6s and 6s Plus being 4.7 and 5.5 inches respectively. It would just be a lower end version of what we have currently seeing as it would feature the same A9 chip. What's more, with the possibility of an underclocked CPU and no 3D touch, it wouldn't even be as powerful as the current iPhones we have now, even though it hasn't been announced, let alone released. Remember the next generation iPhone 7, which we talked about when discussing the rumored five different variations that Apple is currently testing, will likely feature the same screen sizes that were introduced by Apple with the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. So that about wraps up this video. Remember guys, we're still in the very early stages of rumors and reports concerning the iPhone 7. Let me know what you guys think about the device. Do you hope any of the rumors that we've discussed in today's video will actually come true when Apple releases the iPhone 7? And don't forget about that kind of crazy but definitely plausible rumor that Apple may remove the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack port in the iPhone 7. If you want additional information on that, just be sure to check out my video covering the topic. I will have it linked for you guys on your screens now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. Definitely be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name. I will keep you guys completely updated anytime new rumors start to spread pertaining to the next gen iPhone. And if you want a chance to win a brand new fourth generation Apple TV, just be sure to visit freeappsfast.com inside of mobile Safari. Sign up. It doesn't take long whatsoever. Download one or more of the sponsored apps in the main section, just so long as you do earn points. Once you have some points, go to the third tab down below at the bottom and take what appears after the equals symbol in that referral link right there and post it in the comment section of my unboxing of the fourth gen Apple TV, which I will have linked for you guys again if you're on the desktop version of YouTube in your cards right now. So I hope you guys liked this video and definitely enjoyed it. Also, if you want to be notified even more often, such as when I'm working on new videos and you're already subscribed, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.